Morning freeze dryers, I have a super easy recipe today that's gonna be great for camping or backpacking or quick rehydration. It's just gonna take a little dab of water and a little stir and you'll be on your way. Today we're gonna do an awesome noodle bowl called Pad Ki Mao, uh, also known as Drunken Noodles. Coming up. So noodle bowls rehydrate very, very well. They're also, most of them are very simple to make. This one is very simple to make. Uh, you'd basically just have to make a sauce, which is only four ingredients, and then you cook up some noodles and some uh, stir fry. You can add some meat of your choice, and that's all there is to it. About five minutes of prep time, about 10 to 15 minutes of cook time, and then we'll be ready for the freeze dryer. First thing we wanna do is make some rice noodles, and I'm gonna do a pound of rice noodles. I'm doubling our recipe today uh, in hopes that I can make two out of this. We need to get some hot water going. You want enough boiling water to cover a pound of noodles. At least that is what the directions are on these noodles. Uh, noodles do vary, so make sure you follow the directions on the noodles. Then we're gonna make our drunken noodle sauce. That means we need a half a cup of soy sauce. Uh, if you want a little bit healthier version, uh, you can use liquid aminos. And then we need two tablespoons of brown sugar, followed by two tablespoons of oyster sauce and two tablespoons of fish sauce. Then you're gonna whisk this all together. You want a nice smooth texture. And this is what adds all of the flavor to those noodles. Then we're gonna set this sauce aside. We're gonna cut up one onion, four green onions if you have them. I do not have them today. And then um, a cup worth of red peppers. And then we're also gonna need a cup and a half of fresh basil. My water's boiling for the noodles, so I'm gonna add my one pound of noodles into a bowl and then pour the water over the top of the noodles. Those are gonna sit for 25 to 30 minutes and you wanna make sure that it covers all of the noodles. And then if you choose, you'll need a protein of your choice as well. You can actually leave the protein completely out if you want to, um, but you can do you can do tofu, you can do shrimp, you can do chicken, pork, beef, whatever you want for your protein. I'm gonna do some tofu today because it's traditionally probably what you would find most, uh, most in drunken noodles. And you wanna cook your protein first, so minimal oil if you're going to use it, if you're concerned about long-term storage. I would definitely use a vegetable broth or some other type of broth to cook your, uh, to your meat or your protein in and you'll need one pound of whatever protein you're doing. Uh, in a separate skillet, we wanna do just a couple of tablespoons or a tablespoon of sesame oil. Again, if you're worried about long-term storage, use some broth instead, and we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of garlic, and then a couple teaspoons of sriracha, and then we want a teaspoon of ginger paste, just like this. You're gonna let that cook for just about 30 seconds all together, and then we're gonna add some more ingredients. We wanna add our red pepper to that mixture, as well as our chopped onion. We're gonna cook that for just about a minute all together. And then while all that is cooking, we're gonna take our noodles, they should be ready by now. We're gonna drain those off because we're gonna add all of these noodles to our stir fry. Then we're gonna add our peppers and onions and garlic and all that good stuff to our protein if you're using one. And then we're gonna add our noodles in here too as well as our sauce mixture. If you have a big wok or something like that or a, a giant frying pan, I would probably recommend using it. Since we are doubling this recipe, it adds up to quite a bit in here. So if you have four green onions, chop those up, add those in at this same time. And we're gonna to wanna to mix all of this together and cook this for one or two minutes just so we can kind of cook all of it together. Let that sauce get into all those noodles. That's what's gonna really flavor those noodles. And then at the last minute here, we're gonna throw this basil in. Mine does not look very good. My basil plants are not doing great right now, but you just wanna wilt that basil in here. It really adds a lot of flavor. It adds a lot of color, adds a little more texture. Then the last thing we wanna do is throw this into a bowl so we can toss this all together and kind of uh, mix all of our ingredients, make them even since we're going onto a freeze dryer tray. And the million dollar question is, can this all fit onto one medium freeze dryer tray or are we going to have to go with two? Well, it looks like we're gonna have to do two trays and uh, they're about as, this one's about as full as I want it. This one is doing about another three quarters of a tray. So I think if you had a large, I, I bet this recipe would fit really nice onto a large tray. 
you'd have to stack it up just a little bit more than uh, I have it here. And I think for the sake of rehydration purposes, I'm gonna weigh one full tray. First tray is reading 694 grams, so we'll call that 1700. Make sure you're putting this on pre-cut parchment or silicone if you have it. If you don't, make sure you visit freezedryingsupplies.com. We can hook you up with all kinds of accessories for your freeze dryer. I'm gonna pop some dividers in here as well. I'm gonna make a 10 portion. These will cut right through the noodles and then we'll, uh, we'll go right into the freeze dryer with this today. And today's recipe can be found on the freeze drying cookbook.com. We have over 200 recipes, including this one today. We had all of Sunday's video recipes on Monday, so you can always stay up to date on the recipes that we're providing. We also now have a hard copy version that has just over 100 recipes in it. That can be found on Amazon. Amazon, and we'll put the link down below. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. We do all freeze drying on this channel, uh, as well as click the bell to get notifications. That'll send you a notification every time we release a new video for us. That is Sundays, 8 a.m. And if you like the content we're putting out there, make sure you let us know and give us a thumbs up. And if you want to connect with other fellow freeze dryers, make sure you join our Facebook group or our MeWe group. It's just Retired at 40's Freeze Drying Group. There's over 60,000 members on there now. Uh, you can find questions to anything you can possibly imagine. Use this search function. You can search all kinds of old threads. You can search for questions, keywords, uh, members, all kinds of things. If you can't find it on there, I don't think you can find it at this point. We also do giveaways every single month in our Facebook group, and that is possible because of the people who have used our affiliate link through Harvest Right. Uh, if you're going to purchase a freeze dryer, please consider using our affiliate link. Uh, it really helps out this YouTube channel. It helps us maintain our groups. It really helps us do our giveaways and it also helps us develop products for freezedryingsupplies.com. Any of the accessories you have seen in this video and most likely any of the other videos have been developed by us. We sell them at freeze drying supplies. We're trying to streamline the entire freeze drying process, make the packaging, the freeze drying, make it all as painless as possible. It looks like our drunken noodles are just wrapping up so let's check them out and these drunken noodles took just over 40 hours I did add a little bit of extra time uh, partially because they didn't really seem like they were done and I wanted to get some sleep but uh, these should be really really nice trays are nice and warm and these made a nice little serving size so you can definitely see that this shrunk quite a bit after the moisture was pulled out let's throw this on the scale and we will see what this weighs now now it weighs 976 so let's get a rehydration put together and we will uh, have some serving sizes So I put these all in the 10 portion setting in the dividers. I think about two tenths of a tray should give you a good serving size. And I think that if you do two tenths of a tray, uh, your rehydration formula should be anywhere from a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of water. We're gonna test that right now. I have some boiling water. I'm gonna do this one quarter of a cup at a time. I'm gonna start with two quarters or half a cup. And if we need to add another quarter of a cup, then we will uh, we'll go from there. And in the past, noodles can be tricky. Rice noodles tend to rehydrate much better and much faster than your uh, traditional American style noodles, I guess, if you wanna call them that with flour and things. So to me, this looks like it is gonna be maybe a little light after this sits for a couple minutes. You definitely want this to sit so the pieces of meat, pieces of other things have time to fully rehydrate. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and add my other quarter right now. And then I'm just gonna throw a lid on this, let this sit for three to five minutes and we should be good to go. This has been sitting for about four minutes. So what you're gonna do is uncover it. We're gonna wanna stir it just one more time, make sure everything gets evenly coated with water and has a chance to rehydrate. It's looking really good actually the way it is right now. It could probably, uh, I think everything is probably fully rehydrated. I'm gonna give it just a couple more minutes because I think that will just uh, ensure that everything is done. And now it is time to eat. And everything really rehydrated beautifully. I absolutely love noodle bowls because they rehydrate so awesome. You can't tell that they've ever been freeze dried. This would make an awesome camping or a backpacking 
uh, bowl because it's just there's it doesn't really take much to rehydrate it. Just some water. Really, you didn't you wouldn't even have to have warm water if you didn't want to. You could just rehydrate it with just uh, lukewarm water or whatever. The noodles and the peppers and the tofu or whatever meat you're gonna put in here, they all did really really well. This is full of flavor. I think that serving size of two tenths of a tray is perfect. It's a good uh, kind of a noodle bowl size, enough to fill you up and keep you going, and um, just something that's super easy to rehydrate on the trail or camping or uh, just whatever your situation is. Before I let you go, I really appreciate you guys sticking around to the end of the video. Uh, another thing I did not mention is this is really inexpensive to throw together, so keep that in mind while you're making things, especially with the way things are with uh, groceries and things right now. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week.